Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Wild Frost. Let's do this. We're snow dwellers today. It's vanilla Wild Frost. So, looking at these, we p did play, sh we played clunkers last time, so we're on to snow dwellers. Both of these leaders seem, f seem fine. I think I value the higher, the turn counter. This leader is quite a bit better offensively with the frenzy, but I think I value the, the lower turn counter a bit, a bit more. So I'm going to pick this leader. I'm going to be naming this leader Jiraiya 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 Totus. Yeah, uh, pretty sure is how you say this name. I, I feel like I do I do this a lot where I do names that I don't know how to say. I'm picking Loki here. Uh Jiraiya Totus, this is a leader This is a leader from the, uh, what's, no, this is not a leader. This is a cool, uh, mud, mug, mud guy from, mu giant mud monster from Monster Hunter. I should have done this differently. I was too busy trying to figure out how you said this name. I just messed up the combo kill here. There's nothing I can do now. I yeah, there there isn't there is nothing I can do. I will just uh just get the kill on the I want to save the I would like to save the snow sticks for for the goblin that spawns in. So we can optimize the income optimized for econ which what if what if you could do uh what if somebody made like a like a roguelike like a roguelike deck builder with like kind of an econ system similar to game similar to games like uh i'm gonna take my you know what i'm gonna take a random chance here i'm feeling it we are. He is in there. Make like a like an econ system similar to games like uh, t t Team Fight Tactics. I yeah. I just scrappy sword, scrappy sword, and you get the kill. Thank you, Loki. I think that'd be interesting. I mean, doesn't I guess Bellatro kind of has. Is has kind of an econ system where, and what I what I say by econ is like trying to like save your money. I the definition I have in my mind of what econ would mean is like saving your money, and like trying to, like make, develop that into like even more money. I guess I can first I can I will first click zoom when wafers. I think it's okay. I think it is fine. Here we get Pom Pom Wart Wallop. I haven't done a wart. I need, let me check my let me check my videos. I feel like I've done a wart run in a. I've done a recent wart run. Uh, about. About like ten days ago, I like about like two weeks ago, I did a wart run. Do I want? Am I feeling wart again? Out of all these units, I think I am feeling wart. What? I'm also down to click wall up here. It's generally a lot easier to like if you need a unit to just put good charms into is a lot better i think i'm just gonna click wart and call it a day i value do i zoom in wafers here no i don't really think i do the zoom in wafers is not gonna be doing too much if we want the zoom in wafers to do something we need to find like 
We need to find something like a, uh... What am I thinking of? We need to get, like, plus one card draw at the at the start of each turn. Damn, this demonize is gonna hurt. Not much I can do about it. Ain't much I can do. Anyway. So I was talking about e the idea of, like, putting Econ in a... Yeah, I will play this. Putting Econ in a game like this. It'd be like... I. My definition, my like definition of what econ would be, is like. Can I get a double kill here if I do this? So that's something. That's something. Snow stick, wood head. I will let Dryatotus take this hit. These other, I, I I need to stop interrupting myself. Like yeah, saving your money or con taking your money using your money as a resource to generate even more money. Usually in, like, usually in using, like, some form of interest. And that that is kind of just exactly what Bellatro does. So, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying I don't know. But I don't know. And I don't care. What am I talking about? What, do, what am I even fighting for? <sighs> I'm tired. I... Sleep has been rough lately. Sleep's always rough for... For me. Sleep has always been... Yeah, sleep has always been rough for me. But, and I'm trying to get out a good amount of, a, grind out a good amount of videos before I move out. Yeah, okay, Bumbo's kind of eating me here. All my units are having to take a hit from Mr. Bumbo. I am a little lost in conversation, which I need, you need to be careful. You need, I, I need to be careful, which, because I only play significantly worse when I'm like, when I'm just yapping. Well, I'm already yapping, but like not yapping about the game. And I, I'm gonna, I plan on trying to grind out a good amount of videos before I move out. So like if things go wrong when if like you know inter internet doesn't internet doesn't work out and uh or some problems with like my new apartment workout, I'll still have daily videos. Or if I'm just like feeling kind of overwhelmed by my new surroundings that I I'll still have that like I feel I don't feel like recording that day, I'll still have a video to post. So that's my plan. Heart Forge or I like Hard Forge a lot, but since you're guaranteed, since it me it means that you're not going to be able to see Pinkberry Juice for the rest of your run. So, and Hard Forge without Pinkberry Juice is not is definitely not as appealing. So we'll just click Pinkberry Juice. Hello, little berry. <laughs> what if today's the day? You know, I click the Pinkberry Juice. It has been selected. Little Barry, get over here. <laughs> yeah, get over here, buddy. And then I could duplicate the pink berry juice. Put in a lot of eggs in this one basket. I think I do kind of like with the zoom in wafers. Sure, let's do this. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm ch I'm choosing. To okay, act okay, I need I need to rethink this actually. Uh, rethink this duplication. Even if you're not playing, even if you don't end up playing Lil Berry, I think it's still pretty good to duplicate the Pink Berry Juice. It's probably better than a Snow Stick. Duplicate. It's probably better than duplicating a Snow Stick. So yeah, this is probably this is right. I just that's it synergizes with. It's a play that synergizes with the uh, the Lil Berry, but it's also just good on its own. Which one of these units am I crowning? I think I'm just gonna click a charm here. 
None of the options in the shop look too appealing. The only one that, like, maybe, that kind of catches my eye is Noomlin Biscuit. Noomlin Biscuit doesn't do... Noomlin Biscuit, uh, maybe it is good. I do have double pink berry juice. Yeah, maybe. If I'm doing this kind of line, I feel like I'm just saying, uh... I feel like I'm just trying to say, I'm saying, uh, just, see, the, okay, this is kind of an, so let me tell you about an issue with this unit, Lil Berry. So let's say I get an amazing setup where I get, like, this Newman Biscuit, I played at the, I played on a, like, something, a pink berry juice, the pink berry juice has something, like, aimless, has, like, Gnome Charm on it, and I'm playing two Pink Berry Juices on a Numelin, and, like, Lil Berry is scaling a lot. Now, take that setup, and you, let's say you're, you're giving all that HP to Lil Berry. Since you're generating so much HP, you're probably... You're likely gonna be winning with any other unit, just because... You're likely already winning just based off the HP alone. And it's like, Lil Berry's effect doesn't a actually... It, it's good, but, like, if you're generating that HP, you're already winning. It, you could be just... And it's... Honestly, possibly less... Probably less... Like, less risky to to just put it on your leader. Because then your leader can't get sniped by Frost Lancer. And it's... If that did that make sense? It's like you have. I I think I explained it fine. Anyway, what am I picking here? I having a zoom Numlin. I I'll do this. Let's do it. I don't think I'm clicking a second charm though, so we will just continue on. All right, with the with that. Newman biscuit with the Newman biscuit uh secured I think we're just gonna be I think we are unfortunately I have unfortunately decided that we are playing that we're gonna be playing a little berry everybody be afraid he's here the worst unit in the game is here and I I am v rather. I am pretty confident in that idea that, in the I God, look at all these fucking snowbows, man. I am, like, I am rather confident in, in the idea that, unfortunately, I'm kind of boned by this winter worm. I need to snow it. I need to snow it, and you know it. God, this little bear. And also on like a four turn counter. This unit just never get This unit scales too slowly. This unit scales really slow. It there's only like a like a handful of cards that actually scale Lil Berry. And And even he and he's really not that good to put stats into because he's only four turn counter. He's he's he has be, because of his yeah, god damn it. He only has a turn counter of four, which really holds him, which really holds him back. I think. Or no, it absolutely holds him back. I, I think a unit that I kind of put down a lot is that I think is only okay despite having some really good traits is Fizzle. And I say that just, and the reason I think that is just because of Fizzle's four turn counter and the fact it, yeah, her four turn counter I think holds her back a lot. Now, what would be awesome with Lil Berry is that if we could find the new Nourish Charm, now that would be cool. Like, even th as this, I've put, I've put so much, re so many resources into this Lil Berry, and... This little berry's not doing it. This little berry still isn't like eight attack on a four turn counter. It really isn't that much. 
You really need to get like Barrage or Ain't or Gnome Charm on this little bugger. Okay. This is the board we're dealing with. I don't think I want to attack the top lane because I don't want to hit risk hitting the Grouchy. I think I just redraw here for more snow. You also get your pink berry juice back. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna give this HP to our leader instead. Makes me feel more safe. I will snow stick boozle this turn. Ward is kinda low. I am starting to notice. I can get a double kill here, which looks alright to me. And then I could make it a triple kill. And then I'm not that scared of the the change boot the uh, Evolved Boozle. Can do it like this. Loki can get the kill and then Ward can. Then Ward can follow up with a little bit of poison on the enemies. Well, Barry, when are you attacking? Little Barry can one shot the. He's got the one shot on the. On the, on the boozle, the <laughs> one shot on the two eight on the two HP boozle. Good job, old Barry. I'm kill you. Put my leader here, and then that is a multi kill. So then I snow stick the boozle, and then you are good. Technic. I did, unfortunately I did not play the pink berry, the free to play pink berry, free to play pink berry juice. The free to play gotcha pink berry juice. Yeah, I think I need this gnome charm. Now, if I want to be, I think it is honestly better to, would honestly be better to maybe put this on pink berry juice and just keep your leader alive. Because that's just... That's a lot more sustain. Instead of putting it on this dummy. This dumb idiot little berry. I'm definitely going to take this bottom path. Show me what you got, Charm Merchant. I would love a balance charm here. <laughs> wow. That's... That fucking fragile little berry. Imagine that. Does that sound terrible? Does that sound like the worst thing you've ever heard? I think it does. That can't, that can't be right. No, that can't be, that cannot, that cannot be right. Should I take the hog charm though? a different question I have. Eh, I think I'll be fine. I, I was thinking about it. I, like, you have your lead, you, like, you're putting a bunch, your pink berry juices are, you're turning your pink berry juices into <laughs> lumen vase flame waters, which just, I don't think so. Oh, balance charm. Now that's really good. See, I I mentioned balance mention balance charm receive balance charm. Alrighty. This little berry is playable. He did it. Got he did it everybody. He got there. He got there, man. And honestly, I think what I want to do for my crown setup is I think I want to I want to crown this Newman biscuit cuz if you can at least hit this Newman biscuit this is kind of like this. I, 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 this is very committal. The Newman Biscuit Pinkberry Juice line, and then you're just saying, I think I'm gonna take Wart out of the build. This is a setup where Lil Berry ca can just kind of carry, I think. 
Or at least I hope. <laughs> I really hope he can. Because <laughs> if he can't and we put all these resources into, th resources into him, like, God help us. Ugh. I need to visit some fucking card removal, man. God, I'm not even killing the jab joke, man. Okay. That's just... Ugh, now the... And the gawk is attacking me now. Okay, I have Woodhead in the next hand. And you also have the... Pink Berry. You got the Pink Berry Juice. I really appreciate... I don't think I am able to play Newman Biscuits here. Let's get Woodhead. Okay. I can... If I Scrappy Sword on the Jab Jotes, I'm guaranteed to at least kill one enemy. So we'll go for that. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, God. I The Pygmy has... Sheesh, man. The Pygmy does, in fact, have that... The Pygmy has the plus two. That's really nasty. I think I just redraw this hand. I don't... Okay. Snowstick is good here. I can kill Loki and... Jiraiya... Uh, Jiraiya Totus can get the kill on the Jab Joe, which is good. We freeze the pygmy. Am I freezing the gawk? God, God little Barry, I put so okay. I will take my double kill here and I'll let and I'm fine with Lil Barry going down to one. I'm d I did the flame water there so you one shot so you can one shot the jab joke for the the guaranteed double. Okay, now how do I get out of this one? That's there that I let my leader take four here. Ugh. Okay. Loki tried to kill. Loki came close to killing the pygmy, but unfortunately, the pygmy spawned with a block charm. Damn, this pygmy is owning me. Leader is down to six HP. Oh my God! How am I? God damn this! I feel like I shouldn't be in. Like this is, feels like the. Best, one of the best possible little berry setups I've had, and I'm still getting owned. All right, I gotta like. What's the actual play here? I can't sunrod. I just need to redraw for snowstick and let Loki die. God damn this. Fucking Barry is not scaling enough. And it's not attacking enough. I'm so disappointed in you, little Barry. Okay, you just... I'll freeze the... Freeze the gawk. Doesn't super matter what you freeze there, you just need to freeze. Uh, do I take my guarantee kill, which is Scrappy Sword, Scrappy Sword? God, this this Zoomlin wafers does not feel. I am not feel. I am not feeling the Zoomlin wafers. I'll use it here, but throughout that whole fight, it felt like I never really had the had the time had the time to play it. Okay. Wooly Drex. I don't know if Wooly Drex is no. Wooly Drex is probably is. Likely worse. I think I take this mobile campfire. It's a good damage boost for 
for Lil Barry. And then it's also a clunker. I like this bubble campfire quite a bit. Also, I don't hate the Zoomlin Nest, honestly. If I take Zoomlin Nest, I want to play, like... No, the the mobile campfire is a little bit better, I think. Definitely the removal. You you 100% need removal removal in this build. There's like no I don't think there's any question. Scorchberry charm. Um if only I could have given that if only I got that a little bit earlier, then it would have actually been quite it would have been a nice little four would have been a nice four attack for for our for our berry friend. Okay. Numlin. Pink berry juice. I will mobile campfire here. To another pink berry juice. So I can kill the Bigfoot, which I think is pretty good. I don't got much way many ways of stopping this woolly drek, unfortunately. I will go, God, this blueberry is just always short. Uh, no, I, I scrappy so you scrappy so the woolly drag here. Don't be silly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should have redrawn there first, actually. That would have been a little. God, this, I don't want to play anything in sand. Like, this is the problem with Zoomlin Wafers. I could stay on this hand, but why would I want, why would I? Why would I play Zoomlin Wafers here? So I can play my Injured Loki, a Woodhead, a Scrappy Sword, and a Snow Stick when I could just drop, when I could just hit the redraw bell. Where then I, where instead I could hit the redraw bell into the pink, into my win condition pink berry juices. Taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. All right. But we actually get a little berry cleans up nicely here. He finally get he finally gets it. He finally gets there. Need to snow stick the Bigfoot. So bam, bam. Then I can sunrod, and then you kill the other two. And then you're looking good. Clary is still pr pretty low HP. Yeah, okay. The I the line of playing for I was I was thinking back to that fragile charm we saw or that sunglass ch chime that sunglass charm we saw earlier. Yeah, that this apps that absolutely would not have been playable. Alright, fine. I I will now play I will now play the sink the stinky poo poo biscuits. Okay, now we redraw and Loki probably will just have to go down here. I maybe should have just taken Loki out of the build for this fight. I mean it didn't really change anything. This thankfully wasn't thankfully didn't struggle in this fight. But I think it was because of the mobile campfire. I think... Because the three extra attack felt like I was actually able to kill shit. Ah, the papa was... The papa has gotten away. Big Sag. I wanted that, I wanted that man to pay for his crimes. Alright, keep the removals coming. Get rid of all the scrappy swords. You don't need them. You just need, you just need juice. You just need to be juiced. I do see the berry basket. Let's think about Numlin. Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, make sure you are not playing this on your already crowned. I got two Numlin pink berry juices. Like okay. this. Okay, two Numlin pink berry juices. If you were playing like a leader, any, if you were playing like your leader, and I would just put like, I could literally just like play aim, play gnome charm on my leader here. 
play yeah play gnome charm on my leader and my leader could solo the fights could solo the fights on his own because like this much healing for the pink berry juice means we pretty much can't die which makes me think uh this so makes me want to say no that's not that's not the crown it's definitely lumen vase I'm thinking that this berry basket is actually not that good. We already got two good healing cards. The only benefit is that it heals the leader, but your leader, like, you don't, is, like, less... Healing for them is less valuable because they have... Their shell is what's keeping them alive and not their health. So we will just take a block charm. I'll put that on my leader. Nice little bit of protection. Didn't hurt no one. I, I was thinking, I maybe you could maybe make the argument of putting on a mo on mobile campfire, but mobile campfire is not super is not all that important. So I'd rather the safety. I rather the safety in putting it on my leader. Right, now this little berry is scaling twice as fast. This has got to count for something. Oh my god, the Spuncher is wrecking me next turn. Spun Spuncher is absolutely destroying me. Although, you know, we are... Pinkberry juices are just flying. Oh god, how am I still not killing... The sponge or God, little berry, you're so. P okay, we hit it twice. That's cool. I will actually zoom in wafers here because I would like to get at this hole. I probably did. Could I have zoomed in wafers earlier there? Maybe. Okay, I need to snow stick crunker. Loki is gonna be. Here just to take the green the green kits. Alrighty, show them. Show them, little berry. You're all you're all scaled up. You are so big. God, it's gonna be so annoying putting this little berry in the thumbnail because of his giant like trying to crop his giant sword. Yeah, because you're gonna be seeing in the thumbnail, if you pay attention, you'll be able to see Ion onion on on his sword because that's how the crop is that's how the that's how the crop is gonna work so look out for the word onion on for onion on little berry sword in the in the thumbnail it will be there am i could i be in no my little berry has so much health too much health, frankly. I should just recall Loki. Too much health, I gotta be honest. Yeah. You know, on it. You know who, honestly, you know, who this, who would, I, you know, who I think would be better here for this kind of setup. I think, uh, who? What's his name? A uh, Goji Bear. I think if you want to use. That's kind of true. Uh, that, I haven't thought about that. Go, I think Goji Burr might actually just be the better unit to put all your healing cards and all your pink berry juices into. Because I think the... I think the smackback is more... Is more rewarding quick... Is more quickly rewarding. Opposed to like the slow scaling of little berry. Okay, little berry. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have to have a word after this. Oof. God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm so wrecked. Okay, please, just, just face shift. Just face shift, old crunker, old crunksters. Old mi mi old Mr. Crunker. Okay, I can just win on this turn if little berry feels like it. Now, will he feel like it? There's only one way to find out. What? What's your? It's it's your move, little berry. 
Alright, he was he was half feeling it. He's just like half feeling it. He's just like me for real. That's my that's and that's me every day of my life. I'm only half there. For example, I'm actually I'm actually not here. It's it's actually my it's only my lower half that's here. If you can believe it. Lower half of the <laughs> I'm gonna make two I'm gonna make two I'm gonna split my channel into two uh different into two different channels. Zips top and zips bottom. I think this is good to put on on Lil Berry to increase the speed of scaling. I think it's fine. Honestly also like clicking muncher here. I don't think I'm ever playing out my hand fully. Because I'm just playing the the Newman cards and redrawing. So I'm gonna take the muncher here. Yeah, and I will keep removing. You can get rid of everything. You can get rid of the woodhead. You can get rid of any everything here that isn't pinkberry juice. Uh, what if I get something better though? Eh, eh, it's fine. This will be going on flame water. Goodbye, flame water. Yomp, or well, not yomp actually. It's it's gulp because he gulped up the water. He, the little monk, the little muncher charm gulped up the water and didn't drink it, or I mean didn't eat it. He did he did drink it, but I like using the word gulp more because the word gulp is fun. Gulp, gulp. I will start with him. I will start with a zoom in here. My deck is literally like. Two cards. Or how how big is my how big is my deck? One. Like what is so the Newland biscuit consumes at the start. Zoomland wafers gets used up pretty quickly. So it's just like snow stick, snow stick, sunrod, pink berry juice, pink berry juice, lumen vase. So you're pretty much always able if you also were to remove Loki from the build. You would just always be able to play. Would pretty much just always be able to play uh, two pink berry juices each turn. Well, Barry, why are you getting kind of owned? Like, like, Will Berry looks good here, but we got the immense Will Berry high roll. This unit is still. I still, this unit is still really bad, even though you're getting, you got, you've hit the Omega high roll with the two new, with the two Newman Pinkberry juices, and then, and then you're just to where you're then just able to scale Little Berry. This you just play, you just scale Little Berry scales twelve attack each turn, which is okay. I am a little bear. I am a little berry hater, but the scaling twelve attack each each time you hit the redraw bell is pretty cool. Eight to a minute, that's pretty cool. That that it that's pretty that's pretty awesome. This is epic. I wonder if there's an infinite I can do with this, where I can just like infinitely pump pink berry. Pink berry juices into this little berry. I don't think. I don't think there is. You know what? Nah, I should stay for. Should I stay for the combo kills? It's probably fine. Get a double kill here. Blam, blam. Yeah. Uh. Fortunately. I need Lil Barry to take the. Alright, Loki. I need Lil Barry. I really need you to hit. Oh god, wait. I, am I actually in danger here? I can't let my. 
I'm in danger if... I think I actually re... Okay, to be completely safe here, what I need to do is I need to... Recall Loki here, because I can't kill the... I cannot kill the hogs this turn. Or I should not kill the hogs this turn, because you can, with your aimless units, you could get... I was thinking of sunrotting Lil Berry here, Lil Berry there, but then Lil Berry could hit Hog Hog. And then you would have, like, a massive rate, a, like, a six, a six frenzy four seven attack monster of a razor that you would have to somehow deal with. Alright, you know what? Just... Why did I... Why did I play the snow stick there? That just made this play kind of more awkward. And thankfully, our little berry has the HP to survive. We don't have to worry. Alright, there you go. He, just, he, he gets down to business, okay? He's got... He's got the big old broom sword, and he's cleaning up. You dig? Do I remove... Do I dare remove more cards? I think I do. Oh, I get rid of the Nimlin Biscuits, for sure. Then I get rid of Mobile Campfire. This deck is only Pinkberry Juice. <laughs> This is really, it's really silly looking. I love it. Spark Charm, that does not do anything. So, yeah, yeah. with this, uh, Loki? <laughs> Loki? <laughs> you good, bu you good, buddy? <laughs> You good? <laughs> Alright, there you go. I was gonna take you out of the build. Wait, what do I crown? I guess I guess I crown the other pink berry juice. Okay. Okay. This is this is possibly this is one of the most just turn your brain off setups I have ever had. Wait, that might not be that might not be true. <laughs> because with the aimless here, I could actually be in a lot of danger. Thankfully I still do have Okay. You still do have your snow cards. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll just sunrod here if you don't mind. My little berry is guaranteed to get to like 20 to 27 stats at the at the start of the fight. That's lovely. This is less lovely. Uh I really I call it Okay, I need to I'm the way I'm trying to do this fight, God, I should have took it. I now I now I wish I took that new one, son, that sun bell of the bell. Rough. All right, you're fine here. Bam, bam, bam. To make myself myself feel safer, I'm gonna put one of the pink berry juices into into our leader. Yeah, I... Oh, God, I... It gets really awkward here, actually. Okay, I have... the next turn. Maybe I just need to scale up my... Maybe I just need to scale up my... My little berry. Okay. I redraw here. Maybe I just need to scale up my little berry enough to where I can always one shot cross guardian. Because I will not be able to stop this attack. If little berry can just attack into frost guardian, then I can get. And then buff up the Bigfoot. 
and then I'm just kind of boned. Because, like, I... And then, like, Frostguard... I am... Okay, I redraw here, I think. I can just kill the... I'm very... I'm super close. Then I can Sunrod. Okay. You could also just... Okay, the spike wall is no threat. Alright, you're good. You're fine. The spike wall cannot threaten you. Oh, Uba Bear. Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. I redraw here. Get the double pink berry juice. Uh, now, now we just have to sit here and wait for this... For this giant big, for this big berry, for this, I, 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 you know, I called her, I called little berry big berry, but you know, he, you know, he, he is truly a big berry, so, yeah, you know, maybe the name, maybe the name is not so inaccurate. I don't want to lose my block. I like my block. You will not take away my block. Alrighty. So the final attack you were able to get up to is 81 attack. That looks pretty good for the thumbnail. That looks pretty nice. Alright, I'll take a second one, just in case I don't like the first one. This man is huge. Little Barry, take him out. I don't think... Oh, wait, I don't have a unit that sits in the... In, that's it, that takes hits away from Frost Guardian. Uh... Loki, I think I will have to play you for... I think I do just have to put Loki in this build. Or, no, it's better... No, you put Wart in the build. Alright. Just so you can get unit to redirect and hit away from Frost Bomber. So, you little berry. I think we should... I'm pretty sure we should... This should be a slam dunk. But you can never be too sure. It is a little berry after all. Boom. Get that. Get that stupid. Get that stupid spot. Get that. Your stupid dang. Your stupid dang. Chomp. Stupid dang block out of here. Okay. Nice and meaty first hit. I will Sunrod. Sure. I will Sunrod. There goes Frost Lancer. We redraw. You simply redraw. This is our entire deck here. Get a get get a nice look of it. Hope you like it. Little Berry is all scaled up. All scaled up. I am taking five here, and I don't... I'm gonna play Lumen Vase here and let the Frost Muncher destroy a Gunk Fruit. I could... I don't... The, look, the Lumen Vase is, is like, really expensive. I don't want to... God, Little Berry, how are you close to dying? How the hell are you close to dying, my man? I've played like... I've played Pinkberry Juice on you so many times. Man, what? Okay. No, you're fine. He is fine. He is okay. All is good. All is right with the world. Yeah, what... I'll reiterate it one last time. If you're the 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 historical little berry hate, hater here, if you were to this little berry was, yeah, I would still be putting any putting this much HP into any unit is winning. So, and little berry is only really like gets to. 
gets to be good in setup setups like this where he just like the game just gives him the why I okay I need to stop hating on Lil Barry I I I find I'm a little bit too much of a hater Lil Barry you did good today be proud of yourself this is a win for the good guys definitely to yourself be proud of yourself you've earned it champ you've earned a seat you've earned he Lil Barry has earned his seat at the big boys table. Alright, let's look at what kind of leaders we're playing next time. Overburn leader, pretty bad. Only two overburn on a five turn counter. This leader is really good. Six attack on a four turn counter and the nice little utility and demonize with solid health. Definitely a good leader. And this leader is basically this leader, but a lot worse. Worse effect, worse turn counter, and worse attack. So we'll definitely be playing this leader next time. Anyway. That's going to do for this episode of Wild Trust. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. And all of you out there, have a nice day.